want to be doing something sure. that has to do with music. Now, do you ever find time just to go out and like have dinner, go to the movies, or stuff like that? Yes. Or do you do normal stuff? Sometimes I do yeah. normal stuff. Okay. You know what is normal? I so, really like the new movie Age of Adeline, yeah. which I got to I see. I haven't got to haven't see that. Seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Was it looks, good? It was good. It's yeah. sort of uh, it's she just stays the same age. Yes, who right? stays the same age. She oh, I remember the pre- that did look kind of good, mm-hmm. kind of a girly movie, but it looks good. It, well, yes. I kind of like chick movies. Yeah, he I really does. Really he likes girl, chick so. movies more than oh, I do. It's I don't. Weird. It's not more than you do. <laughs> he watches the Hallmark Channel at night. I do not. When I'm not in Stop the room. Stop telling on me. Oh. Stop. Oh my gosh. What else are you gonna sing for us? I am going to sing. Let me. Sometimes I tape my set list right to the side of my guitar because yeah. I often forget what it is that I'm gonna sing next. <laughs> Uh, ah. Even though I love all my songs, sure. can I can I say this? I've always wanted to say this to a singer, and I don't know if you'll get the reference. Play "Sweet Misty" for me. I don't get it. It's a She's Clint Eastwood reference. I should have gotten I don't get that. It. <laughs> I totally late. What is that? What does it mean? It's a it's a movie. So okay, I mean, is it something he said in the movie, or it's is just it? the title of the movie? So, okay, is I it about a guitar player? Or? I don't even know. What, what, why did you say it's, it? It's That's so random. While. It's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> it's just, so random. I've always wanted to say that what to a singer. What if I suddenly played Sweet Misty if I was like, yeah, okay. Oh, I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> have did you just make now. that up? No. Why okay. are you saying it's random? I, it is random. It's not it's random. random. <laughs> okay, what, are you gonna, like, what are you going to play? This song is called Catching a Vibe. So that's what I'm going to play. <laughs> This is live okay. radio. Okay. I just get all excited. That's Randy. I didn't think Randy oh was coming. Oh my goodness, okay. it's Randy. <laughs> he just totally like. It's okay. Handy Randy. Sorry. Fanboying right here. I'm fanboying. I'm fanboying. <laughs> this is wrong. This is so wrong. <laughs> all right. Why don't you sing for us? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Heart race, heart race, or an earthquake is it mean? Do you feel? Feel the ground shake, energy crashing. In new ways, the current that you're sending set the game in play. And I'm feeding a fire as I'm crossing the wire. I'm catching a vibe in the air tonight. Sending me signs, lighting me on light. Odds are attracting, the pressure is stacking, the chain is reacting, and I'm catching a vibe, catching a vibe. Eyes meet, eyes meet, electricity can it be pulling me so magnetically every time, every time that you speak to me internally, the feelings grow with intensity. And I'm feeding the fires, I'm crossing the wire. I'm catching a fire in the air tonight. Sending me signs, lighting me on light. Odds are attracting, the pressure is stacking, the chain is reacting. And I'm catching a vibe, catching a vibe. Lines connecting, your signal is the only one I'm detecting. Bridge between every day and dream, all is perceived but hasn't yet been seen. I'm catching a fire in the air tonight, sending me signs, light me on light. Odds are attracting, the pressure is stacking, the chain is reacting. And I'm catching a fire. I can't wait. Are, when we come and see you perform live and, and we're out in the audience, can we be like, Stevie? Will you like yes, acknowledge us? I love it when people do I love to like wave back. All right. Like, Hi. Hi, it's me. So I'm yes. going to feel totally important. Uh-huh. I'm going to be like, tell Stevie we're here. We're here for our we're backstage like, passes. Yes. Yeah. Passes. Gonna have. Lack of <laughs> so uh. But we will definitely come and see you for sure. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. We're tight now. We're tight now. We are. Now, if, if somebody wants to buy your stuff, how do they do it? So my new EP will be out on iTunes. In a month? Yes. Or by the end of the month? By the end of this month. Okay. 
And uh, then I have some older stuff from my previous EP that okay. is currently on iTunes right now. And you can listen to it also on my website, which is steviejewel.com. Okay. And there's a couple songs on Spotify as well. Okay, so you, so you're, if they if they just Google your name, they can find something. Yes. And then the, can they pre-order the new CD? As soon as it's on iTunes, you will be able to pre-order it. So okay. Yes. Okay. And you'll sign all that and everything, and, yes. and send if it out. Yes. If you want okay. a signed copy, you could just my email address is right on my website. Just email gotcha. me, and I can sign it. Gotcha. Now, do you want to do your PSA for people that um, maybe yes. might think be thinking about? Because I know that nobody li that listens to our show actually steals music, but. There might be yeah. some that are thinking about it, about possibly doing it. Yeah, and, and so just in case, if you're thinking about stealing, you must be a new listener because exactly, exactly. I will put the fear of God into your hearts, and she will right now. She will. She's right crazy. here, right now. It's about to get real up in this place. All right, so I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, <laughs> well, Randy's here. He's got us all. Yeah, he's got us messed up. Hi, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing music. Stealing music is mm. bad. Right. It's very bad because you steal it, the artist doesn't get any money for it, mm -hmm. and it's a, a big bummer because they put their heart and their soul into this music, and for you to just take it and and just have that, they're not getting anything back for the hard work that they do. Mm -hmm. Now, when somebody goes to a job, they get paid for a job. Mm -hmm. That's only fair. So buy the music. Don't be a loser. Mm -hmm. Don't be a moron. Mm -hmm. Go buy the music. Mm -hmm. If I catch you stealing music, if somebody tells me that you stole music, I'm going to do something for you. I will hunt you down! She means it, too. Like She's bow. awfully scary. Awfully scary. She really is. Yes. <laughs> see, that's what Chris meant by Allie is scary. Watch right, out for her. Right, right, right. <laughs> now I see it. And that's an important message. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, of course. Okay, so now we're going to try to squeeze in two more songs, and I want to get them both in. Uh, where do you get your inspiration? I mean, do you just like wake up in the middle of the night and decide to write something beautiful, or uh, what? I mean, do you is it, does it sit in your head, in your mind, for like months at a time, and then you write it down? How does it work? So usually it starts with one idea, and I'll be walking around like the grocery store or mm -hmm. somewhere very non-musical, and then I will get like a phrase that pops into my head, and then some songs chase you down. Mm -hmm. And I've heard this from other songwriters too, but that. Like, before I can fall asleep at night, there will be songs that, like, are on repeat, per se, if they were already in existence. And I cannot go to sleep until I write them down or record them in a voice note or something. And that's usually how it starts. And then they plague me until I finish them. Mm -hmm. In a good way. Right, <laughs> right. So they, they kind of write themselves. I mean, they, they sneak up in for your the most head. Part, yeah, okay. Yes. All right, so what are you going to sing for us next? Uh, so this song is called Mystery, and it's never actually been released. And uh, I considered putting it on my EP, but it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit rockier, maybe? Mm -hmm. So Ooh. that's why I left it off, oh, but it's called okay. Mystery. Came around these parts asking for the girl you say the note talking about a mistake and how you want her back like she disappeared but she's always on your mind you can't escape her in your dreams at night praying and wishing to see her one more time Forget a part of your life is like concrete in your mind Follows you like a shadow Anywhere you go it's not far behind Every time you drive down Maple Street You'll remember how we could have been As things stand now you're the one holding a losing hand I'll be the piece of your history that never gets resolved The tears that ran down my face left a trail that can't be followed And I'll always be the mystery you never, ever get to solve 
that book has closed You're stuck with life all alone You walking out on me Turned out to be the best day of my life That's great. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. So, um, okay, can I get can I get a little personal with you? Yeah. You can just say Chris shut up if you want to. <laughs> I get that all the time. Uh-oh. Okay. I really do. All right. uh, do you have a do you have a significant other in your life? I do actually, yes. Okay. So can I have some details or what? Are we going to um, leave names? That? We've been dating for 6 ye- 6 years in May. 6 Now, okay. Now is this significant other still in Canada or are they here? No, he lives here. Okay. And, okay. Uh, he relocated here as well, um, for a little bit later than I did. Okay. And uh, he's very supportive. That was my life. next That's question. That's good. Yes. Yeah. So, does he understand that that your music comes first, or does he come first? I mean, I, I don't know. He knows the music is my number one. Okay. I've been pursuing music my whole life, mm-hmm. so that relationship is one that I've been in the longest. Mm-hmm. And I think the best thing about him is that he understands that, and mm-hmm. he. He loves my songs as much as I do, which is, I didn't mm. think that I would ever, aside from my mother, who is my <laughs> super number one fan, I didn't think I'd ever find somebody who loved them the way that I love them. Sure. And and he does, which is cool. Yeah, so why isn't he here today? What? He's working. Why didn't I get to meet him? No, <laughs> that's a bummer. So we're he tight now. Been here. Does he cook? Can he cook? He can actually cook. Okay, so maybe he can do the cooking. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, that, that'll work out then. You need to bring him by Saturday night. Okay. Yeah. Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. Right. At 8 p.m. 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Are you going to try to come? I am. Yes. 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 So you're eligible for a WABA Award next year. Uh-huh. Awesome. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. I mean, it's it's a big deal. So one of these days, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be lined up for like a, a big CMT award. But the WABA Award is going to have to go in the mantle right beside that. Of course. Whenever you win it. It's just as important. I show no favoritism. Yes. See? Equality. We love her. Equality. Love her. All your, the way. What's your, uh, is it your boyfriend or fiance? Or should I shut up? my boyfriend. Okay. So what's his name? <laughs> or should his I name is Dietrich. 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 Did I say that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Dietrich. So I've got to act, you know, that way I'll know him when I see him tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Dietrich. Yeah. What's up? What's up? You're like. Bro, you tried to be cool there and it failed. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? So we can get pictures of you and Dietrich both on the red carpet. Yes. So he can wear like a cowboy uh, hat, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I could wear a cowboy hat. Or he could. We could both. Wear you could both, both wear a cowboy hat. It's Nashville. Or you it could is. all wear the same cowboy hat. You could. You could just switch up. Yep. Switch <laughs> up. Just, yeah, switch it up. That'd, that'd be share cool. the hat. Yeah. yeah. And share at the it. same time. You could that's, share the cowboy hat. Okay. <laughs> Sharing is caring, right? <laughs> All right, so we got time for one more song because oh, wow. we got about 19 minutes before our next show. Okay. So I want to I want to squeeze in one more. So what's this one about? Okay, so I'm going to give you a choice. Oh, so I, have, I love choices. I have two songs. One is uh, I call it my. Everybody asks if it's my wedding song, and that's not it. It's a song that I wrote for a wedding. Okay. Like, that. Uh, that someone could use for a wedding. And then the other song is everyone in Nashville has what they, once you move here, it's like a rite of passage to write a drinking song. Oh. So I have oh, my drinking so why do you song. Gotta, why do you got to give me a choice? Because I don't know what to. I know what when I'm picking. Mix them up to a drinking wedding song. <laughs> that would be a lot of times marriage leads matchup. to drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true. So, so, that's I'm true. just saying, I'm keeping it real. I got my vote. <laughs> I know, I know my vote's going to the drinking song. Okay. So how many drinking songs do we have? How many drinking song votes? Two. Anybody? Okay. Any more votes? So, 